I'll show you two ways we can use to find the square root of this. Okay, calculator is not allowed. Okay, let's analyze one 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 five five six first. So one 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 five five six. Let me turn here. Oh yeah, I prefer it this way. So one 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 five five six. Okay, now this is the same thing as one one one. We have three uh, numbers here, so it's same thing as one one zero 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 plus five five six okay all right now this same thing as one 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 multiplied by what one thousand right plus five 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 plus one right yeah so this is same thing as one 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 multiplied by now what are the same thing as nine 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 plus one all right yeah then plus five brackets now this five 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 cents as five multiplied by one 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 okay five multiplied by one 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 then plus one okay now we just continue <laughs> i don't like this line <laughs> okay let me try to draw it well okay this is same thing as what one 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 multiplied by nine 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 is same thing as what 9 multiplied by 1, 1, 1, right? Yes, 9 multiplied by 1, 1, 1, plus 1. Okay, now plus 5 brackets, 1, 1, 1, plus 1. Okay, now we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 everywhere. Let's call it a number. So let's say let 1, 1, 1 be equal to y. Let's call it a variable. Let's give it a an alphabet, yeah. So we are going to write this as what? That means we have... Our y, our one 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 is y. Y bracket nine times y, right? That is nine y plus one plus one. Okay. Then plus we have five y, right? Five y plus one plus one. Okay. So we multiply nine y times y is nine y squared plus y times one is y plus five y plus one. Okay. So this can be written as what? We can write this as 3y squared. Yes, because if we open this bracket, we are going to get this back. 3 squared is 9, y squared is y squared. Okay, now plus y plus 5y is 6y plus 1. The next method I'm going to use is going to give us this solution in less than one minute. Yes, so I'd like you to stick around and be able to grab that particular method I'm going to use. But before that, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this lovely channel, all right? Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> so this is it. Now, we can write this as what? This is 3y squared plus, now this can be written as 2 multiplied by 3y, right? Then plus 1. Now, I want us to recall an algebraic, uh, what is it called? An algebraic identity that states that a plus b raised to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared, or let me write b squared last, plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, I want you to look well, look at this very well. If we say let our a be equal to 3y and our b be equal to 1. Mm. We have something, right? Okay. Because if we say let our a equal to 3y and b equal to 1, that means if we have 3y plus 1 all squared, if we expand it, we are going to have 3y squared, according to a squared, plus 2 multiplied by 3y multiplied by 1, which is still give us this, then plus 1 squared, which is still give us 1. So that means that the whole of this can be written as, the whole of this can be written as what? 3y plus 1 squared. Okay, now recall that we are asked to find the square roots. All this will be all we got is just this, okay? So I asked to find the square roots of this. So that means that square root of 111556 is same thing as square root of what? 3. Remember that our y is 111, right? So 3 times 111. 3 times 111, which will give us 333, right? 
So 3, 3, 3 plus 1, all squared. So this implies that square root of 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6 is equal to square root of what? 3, 3, 3 plus 1 will give us 3, 3, 4, all squared. Okay? All right. Now this square is going to cancel this square root and our final answer becomes 3, 3, 4. As easy as that. Yes. Now let me show you how to find this in less than one second, in less than one minute. Okay? All right. So this simply means that the square root of... 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6, right? Is equal to what? This has removed this and we have what? 3, 3, 4. And this becomes our final solution. Now, let me show you how to get this in less than one minute. So, we are asked to solve for square root of what? 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 6. So, we are going to look at this last number. What number we use square to get a number that ends at 6? We have two numbers that you can square to get a number that ends at 6. One is 4, because 4 squared will give us 16. 16 ends with 6. Then another one is 6, because 6 squared will give us what? 36. And that ends with 6. Okay, now these two numbers, now we are going to keep them aside. It simply means that this number, this particular square root, is going to stop at 4. We stop with 4 or 6. Okay, but you don't know what it is. We are just going to keep our hands crossed. So either 4 or 6 will be the last number. Then you are going to cancel 2, the last 2 digits. This is square root. If it is cube root, you cancel this 3. But same, because it's square root, cancel this 2. Now you have 1,115. What number will you square to get a number that is close to this but not above this? Okay, if you shake it, 30 squared will give us what? 900 right which is still far from this but if you shake 33 squared 33 squared will give us what if you solve this you are going to get let me use another trick and get the 33 squared all these tricks are in this channel is on this channel now to get that three squared i'm going to use this trick three squared is nine i'm going to write it in two digit number now this three squared is nine again i'm going to write it as a two digit number then i'm going to multiply three by three to give me what nine and double of nine is 18 i'm going to add it here okay then i'm going to bring this down bring this down eight bring this as 10. So this simply means that 33 squared will give us 1089, which is very close to 1115. If you pick 34, you're going to get a number that is above this. So definitely it is 33. So we have our first two digits. Now, how do we know if we are going to end by four with four or six? Do you understand? Now to end with four or six, you have to check this number you got, is it smaller than this or higher than this? Okay, this number is definitely smaller than this. So because this number is definitely smaller than this, you are going to go with the small number. Okay, four. And that is how you got this as your final solution. Easy, right? Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.